అందరికి నమస్కారములు టుడే ఇస్ ద థర్డ్ డే విత్ డాక్టర్ విశాలాష్ గారు షీ హాస్ కవర్డ్ సనాతన ధర్మ ఇన్ దీస్ ఫస్ట్ టూ డేస్ మండే ట్యూస్డే టుడే షీ విల్ గివ్ అన్ ఐడియా షీ విల్ టాక్ ఆన్ భగవద్గీత సిన్స్ అవర్ అనదర్ లెక్చరర్ వీ సపోజ్ టు టేక్ దిస్ క్లాస్ ఈజ్ నాట్ వెల్ Uh, so we have requested vishalash garu to take the class and teach us uh, bhagavad gita so after this we will have an exam at 8 uh, o'clock so I request uh, vishalash garu to close uh, the session you know, 15 minutes before and take up uh, the sinan sir session so with this you know we will uh, start with vande uh, mataram and uh, chant prarthana I request challa uh, chitti prabhu garu to recite vande mataram you have to unmute and then చల్లా చెట్టి బాబు గారు కెన్ యూ అన్ ఓకే ఐ థింక్ ఈజ్ నాట్ మేడ్ అన్మ్యూట్ ఎవరు సార్ వందే మాతరం సుజలాం సుఫలాం మలయజ శీతలాం సస్యశ్యామలాం మాతరం వందే మాతరం శుభ్రజ్యోష్ణాపులకితయామినీ పుల్లకుసుమితాద్రుమదళశోభినీ సుహాసినీ సుమధురభాషిణీ సుఖదాం వరదాం మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం ధన్యవాదములు అండి చాలా చిట్టి గారు now uh, we will let us request satya ji to chant prarthana namaskaram let's do meditation for a minute గణానా గణపతి గుంభవామహే కవి కవీనాపవ్రమస్తమం జ్యేష్ఠరాజం బ్రహ్మణ బ్రహ్మణస్పత ఆనస్సృణ్వన్నూతిసాధనం ఓం శ్రీ మహాగణాధిపతయే నమ ఓం ప్రణోదేవి సరస్వతీ వాజేభిర్వాజినీవతి ధీనామవిత్రవతు ఓం శ్రీ మహాసరస్వత్యై నమ గురురేవ గతి గురుమేవ భజే 
ಗುರುಣೇವ ಸಹ ಸ್ಮಿನಮೋ ಗುರವೇ ನ ಗುರೋ ಪರಮ ಶಶಿರಸ್ಮಿ ಗುರೋ ಮತಿರಸ್ತಿ ಗುರೌ ಮಮ ಪಾಹಿ ಗುರೋ ಜ್ಞಾನಂದಮಯ ದೇವ ನಿರ್ಮಲ ಸ್ಫಟಿಕಾಕೃತಿ ಆಧಾರಂ ಸರ್ವಿದ್ಯಾಯಗ್ರೀವಮುಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸ್ಮೃತಿ ಪುರಾಣ ಆಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವಂ ಬಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯಕೃ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾಜ್ಞೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತ ದೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಅಸತೋ ಮಾ ಸತ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋ ಮಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮಾ ಅಮೃತ ಗಮಯ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಮಾತೃದೇವೋ ಭವ ಪಿತೃದೇವೋ ಭವ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಅತಿಥಿ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳಂಡಿ ಸತ್ಯಗಾರು ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಶಾಲಾಕ್ಷಿ ಗಾರು ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾಗಣಾಧಿಪತೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ರಾಜರಾಜೇಶ್ವರಾಭ್ಯಾಂ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಮೇಧಾ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶಿವಾಯ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ನಮಃ ಶಿವಾಯ ಚ ನಮಃ ಶಿವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮಃ ಶಿವಾಯ ಯತ್ರ ಯೋಗೇಶ್ವರ ಕೃಷ್ಣೋ ಯತ್ರ ಪಾರ್ಥೋ ಧನುರ್ಧರ ತತ್ರ ಶ್ರೀರ್ ವಿಜಯೋ ಭೂತಿ ಧ್ರುವಾನೀತಿರ್ ಮತಿರ್ಮಮ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಯದುಭೂಷಣ ನರಸಖ ಶೃಂಗಾರ ರತ್ನಾಕರ ಲೋಕದ್ರೋಹಿ ನರೇಂದ್ರ ವಂಶದಹನ ಲೋಕೇಶ್ವರ ದೇವತಾನೀಕ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಗೋಗಣಾರ್ತಿ ಹರಣ ನಿರ್ವಾಣ ಸಂಧಾಯಕ ನೀಕುನ್ಮೃಕ್ಕಿದ ದೃಂಪವೇ ಭವಲತಲ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನುಕಂಪಾನಿಧಿ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ತೇ ವ್ಯಾಸ ವಿಶಾಲ ಬುದ್ಧಿ ಹುಲ್ಲಾರ ವಿಂದಾಯತ ಪತ್ರ ನೇತ್ರ ಯೇನ ತ್ವಯ ಭಾರತ ತೈಲ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಪ್ರಜ್ವಾಲಿತೋ ಜ್ಞಾನಮಯ ಪ್ರದೀಪ ಸಫಾಯ ನಮಃ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮೈ ಸಿನ್ಸಿಯರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅವರ್ ವೇದ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಸಮಿತಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಆಕೆಳ್ಳ ಹೇಮಕಾಂತ ಪ್ರಭಾಕರ ರಾವ್ ಮಹೋದಯಲು ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟಿನೆಂಟ್ ಕರ್ನಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಅಮರೇಂದ್ರ ಆಕೆಳ್ಳ ಅಮರೇಂದ್ರ ಬಾಬು ಗಾರು ಸಿನ್ಸಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಅಥೆಂಟಿಕ್ ಸನಾತನ ಧರ್ಮ ಗ್ರಂಥ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಸೇ ಇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ಉಪಾಸನ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಟು ಹೌ ಟು ರೀಚ್ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಪಯಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಥೆಂಟಿಕ್ ಗ್ರಂಥ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಫಾರಿನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಫಾರಿನರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ ಟುಡೇ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ಇನ್ ಎ ನಟ್ ಶೆಲ್ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತ what is taught in it what message is conveyed to the mankind by bhagavad gita then if god gives chance any how we have to take chance and for two more days i will completely give the gist of all 19 all 18 chapters nine uh, chapters one day and remaining nine chapters in another day 
just the gist of all chapters i want to give if time uh, is given at any time or either on saturday or sunday we can take when we utter the word bhagavad gita that itself gives us a sort of immense bliss we feel a sort of joy confidence courage and self satisfaction and bhagavad gita Uh, in fact he start to you by our doctor uh, csr prepu garu in a very lengthy manner and into the depths also i think even then even if so many people speak of our bhagavad gita several times there is something to be known from it and we can learn something so you can enjoy even these classes very much so the knowledge which you have gained by the by listening to the teachings of our uh, dear dr csr prabhu garu that will be enhanced and you can confirmly get uh, certain ideas and knowledge from listening once again so shrimad bhagavad gita the words that directly came out of the mouth of shri krishna paramatma sakshat shriman narayana the divinity itself so the words the ideas the teachings of bhagavad gita got such profound power in them gita sugita kartavya kimanyaihi shastra vistaraihi ya swayam padmana phasya mukha padmad vinisrutam the essence of the teachings of this one text to bhagavad gita is enough to lead a perfect life here achieving all purusharthas and get liberated from the chain of birth and death he who studies bhagavad gita becomes free from the fear and distress and attains non returnable position of sri maha vishnu yad gatva nanivartante tathama parama mama says paramatma gita shastram idam punyam yak pathet prayata kuman vishnu padam avapnoti phaye sokadi varjitah everything about bhagavad gita is well explained in just one shloka पार्था प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणेन स्वयं व्यासेन ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायिनी अंबत्वामुसंदता भगवदीते हवद्वेषिणी फर् दोस् हू डिस्लैक् दीज वरि ties who want to get eternal happiness eternal bliss for them bhagavad gita is like the fall of amruta varsha advaita amruta rainfall of advaita amruta it is like nectar of advaita i prostrate i prostrate to such goddess bhagavad gita which is directly spoken by lord sri man narayana himself to arjuna which is composed by the ancient sage vyasa bhagavan vyasa maharshi which is there in the middle of mahabharata which is having 18 chapters and uh, in 700 verses 700 verses and some say there are 40 extra so 740 verses bhagavad gita is the essence of upanishads the gnana kanda of vedas known as vedanta the upanishads brahma sutras and bhagavad gita all these three are called as prasthana traya it is said that the upanishads are shruti prasthana brahma sutras are nyaya prasthana or tarka prasthana and bhagavad gita is smruti prasthana even this is smruti grantha so the complete essence of upanishads is given in shrimad bhagavad gita सर्वोपनिषदो गावह दोखा गोपाल नंदन पार्थो वत्स सुधीर भोक्ता दुखम गीतामृत महत् आल उपनिषद सार कौस द कौहर्ड बॉय इज गोपाल नंदन लॉर्ड श्रीकृष्ण पार्थ आर अर्जुन इज द काफ द मिल मिल इज द नेक्टर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ श्रीमद भगवद गीता all watches people enjoy that nectar of geeta geeta amruta mahabharata declares geeta ganga cha gayatri govindeti hrudi sthite chatur gakara samyukte punarjanma na vidyate 
in whose heart these four ganga geeta gayatri and govinda gakara chatushtaya exist they need not have to take birth again they will get liberated ganga is considered considered as the most pious river and very sacred river it purifies whoever takes a dip in it but one who takes a dip in geeta ganga jala geeta ganga not only crosses the samsara not only purifies and becomes very pious moreover he makes others also to become pious by preaching that to others and he crosses the ocean of janma parampara bhagavad gita is the treasure house of real knowledge adhyatma vidya vidyanam vise the spiritual knowledge no one can completely know the essence of the teachings of bhagavad gita but everyone can get benefited by it bhagavad gita gives solutions to all the questions and problems one gets in this life here just as shrimad bhagavata is spoken as bhakti shastra similarly shrimad bhagavad gita can be called as gnana shastra what all different paths are explained in sanatana dharma to reach god the brahman the ultimate transcendental reality all are explained in bhagavad gita the karma marga gnana marga bhakti marga are explained and nishkama karma yoga is spoken here as the best way to adapt in this life to get liberated the final aim of bhagavad gita is to uplift the jeeva jeevatma who is merged in this ocean of world due to agnana ignorance by showing him the way of sharanagati bhagavad gita is taught by sri krishna paramatma to arjuna in the battle field at the beginning of kurukshetra war taking arjuna as a pretext bhagavan spoke to all of us and taught the whole mankind about the essence of upanishads and showed us the way to lead our lives explaining us to do our kartavya kartavya karma which is very essential bhagavad gita is divided into 18 chapters though in all the chapters bhakti gnana karma dhyana upasana etc all are well explained still mainly first chapter to sixth chapter these six deal with karma yoga and are called as karma shatka then from 7th to 12th chapter these six chapters deal with bhakti yoga and so are called as bhakti shatka 13th to 18th chapters explain gnana yoga and are called as gnana shatka as the essence of all these teachings nishkama karma yoga and sharanagati are explained as the solution to the main problem raised by arjuna in the first chapter the background of emanation of shrimad bhagavad gita is to be known first to understand the teachings of sri krishna paramatma which is already well known almost by all of us in fact in one way, uh, sentence we should say in fact this background of bhagavad gita is uh, already known to all of you even then pandavas are embodiments of dharma bhakti kartavya nishta modesty dhairya bala veerya utsaha all righteous qualities and satvika gunas satvika qualities duryodhana etc drishta chatushtaya uh, they deceived pandavas in maya dhyuta kriya they robbed them of their kingdom and glory and put a condition at the time of dhyuta kriya that whoever are defeated should go to the forest for 12 years and should do agnyata vasa for one year accordingly that is according to their commitment uh, because uh, pandavas uh, were defeated Uh, in by maya dhuta as uh, deceived they were so they spent 13 years successfully 12 plus 1 year uh, with that condition and after 13 years they returned back and then they sent a messenger and asked duryodhana to hand over their kingdom to them but duryodhana bluntly refused to give them their part the part of kingdom which is their pandavas sent even sri krishna paramatma 
on behalf of them as the messenger rayabari we say to make mutual agreement that is sandhi but even that is that was failed duryodhana refused to give them even five villages to five pandavas there is no other way left for pandavas except to, to do dharma yuddha for obtaining their own kingdom so battle became compulsory it is the first and foremost duty of a king to punish adharma and see that dharma prevails all over the kingdom among all citizens because kauravas are adharmikas and also because bhima sena took pratignyas pandavas have to punish kauravas so both the parties prepared for doing battle and kurukshetra that pious place sacred place is decided to be the place where this battle has to take place kurukshetra is a very pious land where dharma prevails even adharmika people if we enter into kurukshetra they become dharmikas and very great noble ideas come into their minds shri krishna is the relative to relative of both kauravas and pandavas but pancha pandavas consider shri krishna paramatma as their relative friend teacher mentor protector and god they worship him with utmost respect and devotion before the commencement of war both duryodhana and arjuna approached shri krishna for help shri krishna divided his strength to two parts one on one part he said he will come but he will not fight in the war and he will not hold any weapons in the hand he will help only he will help them and give them suitable advices whenever they need so the other part is his narayani sena complete all army of sri krishna paramatma and fight for them that narayana sena will fight for them with whomever they have to they can choose either whichever they like but arjuna because arjuna is younger sri krishna parmatma said the choice will be given to arjuna to choose first then arjuna selected sri krishna bhagavan and prayed him to be on their side and he need not have to fight need not have to held any weapons in hand if he stands on their side he said that is enough for them and duryodhana is very happy to take such a big army along with him shri krishna announced himself as partha sarathi charioteer of arjuna partha sarathi and gave a boon to arjuna that he will work as charioteer to arjuna on his request yato dharma stato krishna yato krishna stato jayam who wherever is dharma there god exists where god is there their victory prevails the day of fight came both the kuru and pandava senas assembled in the battle field on both the sides all the great heroes of both the parties arrived on their chariots shri krishna paramatma brought arjuna to the battle field there arjuna asked shri krishna to take him to the middle of that army so that he can see all the warriors ready to fight there among his the opposite sides arjuna saw his most beloved and honorable grandfather bhishma acharya revered gurus drona acharya krupa acharya guru putra ashwatthama and duryodhana etc cousin brothers though they are atatais they are uh, of course his own brothers they and all others are relatives kitan kin so who those who are there they uh, all those other persons they are in no way connected with the conflict between kauravas and pandavas so in fact they need not have to fight and die for the sake of any of them so seeing and even in his side he saw uh, his uh, relatives like drupada maharaja etc so many uh, great personalities so he thought that it is not proper to fight with all of them and kill them it is not proper to make their valuable lives lose in the battlefield for the sake of getting kingdom by pandavas what sort of happiness will they get by getting 
the kingdom at the cost of the lives of so many lakhs of people relatives uh, his own persons and great noble gurus so his body shivered gandiva fell down from the hand he sat down in the chariot in distress and said to sri krishna na kaankshe vijayam krishna na cha rajyam sukhani cha kim no rajyena govinda kim kogair jeevitena va hey krishna i am not at all willing to get this kingdom or royal glory what is the use of all these enjoyments with the cost of the lives of my own relatives and gurus thus arjuna became kim kartavyata vimudha because he came under the capture of moha infatuation of love and affection regard for relatives and the feelings of aham and mama overpowered him he felt he is going to kill all his relatives shri krishna parmatma spoke to arjuna klaibyam masma gamak partha naita tvai upapadyate chudram hrudaya daurbalyam tyakto tishta parantapa hey arjuna don't be under the influence of covardness this is not proper for you who are a great warrior and kshatriya abandon the weakness of your heart and get ready to fight with the enemies which is your duty your kartavya as a kshatriya arjuna is in dilemma he could not decide what to do whether to fight or not to uh, do this war he knows that as a warrior as a kshatriya and also due to the harm done to them and the distress created by kauravas to them and also due to the vows which bhima took at the time of kuru sapha insulting draupadi mata so he has to fight with all these persons at the same time his heart is not accepting to kill his elders gurus relatives and in this battlefield his mind is in dola andolita we say stage he could not decide what to do so he took shelter at the feet of paramatma so whenever we any sort of dilemma comes in our life and we cannot decide whether to go this way or that way the uh, the wise idea is to prostrate before paramatma and to do sharanagati and request god to give us proper buddhi prachodana to what uh, to what to do and what not to do so that is what arjuna did here explaining all of us as an example so shri krishna paramatma is his god guru mentor and all so when arjuna selected shri krishna as his guru and god and did sharanagati and said uh, actually he said like this with shri krishna karpanya doshopahata swabhavaha पृछामी तां धर्म सूढ़चेता ये श्रेय सैन्तम ब्रूहि तन्मे शिष्य ते अहम सैथिमा तां प्रपन्न हे कृष्ण ऐम अंडर द डिफेक्ट आफ कवर्डने सो ऐम अनेबल टू नो वाट टू डू एंड वाट नाट टू डू ई सी युवर रिफ्यूज ऐ एम युवर डिसेपल ई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू कैंडली कमेंड मी एंड गाइड मी what i should do what is really beneficial for me that is what is shreyas you please tell me in kathopanishad shreyo marga and preyo marga are very well explained one should always travel through shreyo marga only in bruhadaranya kopanishad yagnyavalkya maharshi says with gargi yo va etad aksharam gargi aviditva asma lokat praiti sak krupana ha o gargi one who lives this world without knowing para brahman is a krupana that sort of karpanya dosha should not be there in anyone so arjuna prayed shri krishna at that time uh, what he said he is karpanya dosha upahata he has been struck by karpanya dosha so at that time what tatvopadesha is given by shri krishna to arjuna is bhagavad gita that is gita upadesha shri krishna advised arjuna the kshatriya to do the kshatriya dharmo chitta yuddha fight recognizing the necessity and importance to do the dharma yuddha 
Sri Krishna started to speak now. Jatasya hi thruvom ritchuhu. Thruvan janmam ritasya cha. Tasmad aparihar yerke natvam sochitu markasi. Everyone who is born dies. Every being died takes birth again. You cannot change this process. So where you cannot do anything, it is not proper for you to lament for that. Thira statra na mukhyate. One should develop one should develop sthita prajnatva to see sukha and dukha as equal. Avinasi tu tam vithi yena sarva midam tatam. That by which this whole universe is pervaded, know that to be undestroyable. Na jayate mriyate va tada chit nayam putva havita va na puyaka. Ajo niche shaswatoyam purano. Na hanyate hanyamane sherire. The body decays. There is no death to Atma. Atma is eternal, Shaswata. Sukha dukhe same prutva lapha lapha jaya jayo tato yuthaya yujjiyasva naivam papa mavap siyasi. Considering pleasures and pains, profits and losses, victory and defeat as equal, you just fight now. You will not get any sin. This the, then Sri Krishna explained about what is meant by yoga and explained bhakti, jnana, karma, jhana, yogas. And also explained sankhya yoga, explained about sthita prigna, lakshanas. And asked Arjuna to become a yogi, tasmad yogi pavarjuna. Sri Krishna Paramatma explained about para and apara prakriti, shara, akshara para brahman, four types of devotees. Then Ananya Bhakti, he explained Ananya Bhakti, Bhagavad Viputis, and showed his Visvarupa with thousands of heads, hands, feet, etc. All these Guru and Pandava heroes are entering into the mouths of that Visva Purusha, seeing this awesome and wonderful Visvarupa of Sri Krishna, Arjuna got frightened, wonderstruck, and prayed Lord Krishna to appear in his normal form, Saumya Rupa. Having seen that original Saumya Rupa of Sri Krishna, Arjuna got relieved. Sri Krishna Paramatma said that Arjuna is only an instrument in, the, in his hands, in the hands of God, Paramatma. Nimitta in the hands of divine power and also Kala, Kala Purusha. The doer and the director both are Paramatma only. Now Arjuna's Brahma is removed by that Visvarupa Sandarsana and by the teachings of Paramatma. He realized that he is not the killer of anyone. He is not the doer. Everything is being done by Bhagavan, Paramatma, by the Sankalpa and will of God. Sri Krishna explained to Arjuna, his friend, devotee and disciple and refugee about Kshetra and Kshetra Jnana, Sattva Rajas Samo Gunas and Gunatita Stiti and advised Arjuna, Nistrai Gunyo Bhava Arjuna. He also explained about Samsara Vruksha, Asvetha Vruksha in the, in the uh, name of Asvetha Vruksha. So this Samsara Vruksha, the roots are normally to ordinary tree, the roots will be under the ground and tree grows upwards. But this Samsara Vruksha, uh, the roots are above, the roots are in Paramatma, and branches and leaves, fruits, flowers, etc. are spread in the form of this world. It is samsara vruksha. Then Paramatma also explained about daivi gunas and asri gunas and advised him to abandon kama, krotha and lopa particularly and to abandon all uh, six uh, arishad varga, we say, bad qualities and their relative bad qualities. The doors of Naraka. Kama krothascha lophascha dware tishtanti taskara jnana ratnapaharaya tasma deta krayam tiyajet. He also explained about the characteristics of Satchidananda Ghana Parabrahman and declared that whenever there is any glani to dharma, he will take incarnation, come to the earth and establish dharma and destroy adharma. 
यदा यदा हि धर्म से ग्लानिर भवति भारत अभ्युत्थान मधर्म से तदात्मानम सृजाम यहम परित्राणाय साधूनाम विनाशाय च दुष्कृतम धर्म संस्थापनार्थाय संभवामि युगे युगे टू प्रोटेक्ट पायस एंड नोबल पीपल to destroy the wicked and to establish dharma i will come down to earth in all yugas yuge yuge shri krishna asked arjuna to do karma kartavya karma as a warrior now the duty of arjuna is to fight in the war without the feeling that he is fighting he is killing uh, he is getting victory or uh, any such feelings so he has to do it because it is his duty and also he has to do it because paramatma commanded him to do because arjuna did charanagati to him so he has to do it in fact he should not fight because it is his duty because he is kshetriya he has to do it as the devotee and charanagati he did so he has to do that is the most important cause here for arjuna to fight in the war so he has to fight in kurukshetra he has no concern with the result whatever it may be lord shri krishna proclaimed in bhagavad gita karmanye vaathikaraste ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phala hetur phuh mate sangu stvakarmani mate sangaha astu akarmani you got power only to do karma you that is do your duty you are not concerned about karma phala karma phala pradata is only god he gives the result of the works we do befitting to the works done by us so you should not have any sort of attachment to do anything you should not abandon your kartavya karmas also your duty you should not abandon your duties also because Uh, you should not think of karma phala you have to do only the kartavya karmas the shri krishna advised arjuna to do nishkama karma yoga in bhagavad gita the names of all the chapters are combined with the word yoga for example arjuna vishada yoga sankhya yoga karma yoga gnana yoga last one moksha sanyasa yoga so because in all the chapters how the jiva can get united connected with paramatma is explained yoga yuga yuja to join even vishada arjuna has become yoga because with that shoka and vishada arjuna could get the brahma gnana from the upadesha of shri krishna at the end of every chapter it is mentioned as it is shrimad bhagavad gita su upanishad su brahma vidyayam योग शास्त्रे श्री कृष्ण अर्जुन संवादे अर्जुन विषाद योगो नाम प्रथमोध्याय दिशवदीता द उपनिषद विच स्पीच ऑफ ब्रह्म विद्या दिस्ज योग शास्त्र अंड इन दिस् डयलाग् बिटी श्री कृष्ण अंड अर्जुन द फस्ट चाप्टर द नेम ऑफ फस्ट चाप्टर इज अर्जुन विषाद योग नौ इट ईज कंप्लीटेड दट ईज वाट ईज से this thus it is mentioned for each and every chapter all 18 chapters and said that this bhagavad gita is upanishad shri krishna paramatma declared uh, that is uh, declared in fact himself as parabrahman and paramatman because it is not the krishna the individual as the son of vasudeva he is speaking but shri krishna as parabrahman as sakshat shri man narayana he explained this bhagavad gita so he declared himself as god and uh, he asked arjuna to salute him prostrate him and worship him now shri krishna paramatma cleared completely all the doubts of arjuna and said i have explained this most sacred and secret knowledge to you because you are so much dear to me and i got affection and love for you i explained now you properly think over it and act according to your will and wish 
So he left what to do is left to Arjuna only. Sri Krishna Paramatma only gave advices and asked Arjuna to decide what to do and tell. Suppose he did not tell anything, then once again Sri Krishna only has to tell because he did Sharanagati. Itite jnana makhyatam guhyat guhyataram maya vimrushyaita dase shena yethe chesi yatha chesi tatha kuru. You do as you like. Thus he left the decision to Arjuna only. But Arjuna did not reply at that moment because he had surrendered already himself to Paramatma, Sri Krishna. Now he is ready to do whatever Sri Krishna asks him to do. Bhagavan Sri Krishna is Parabrahma, all knower, all pervading power. So he knows the heart of Arjuna. So with much compassion on him, Paramatma explained him clearly his duty to do the war as a Kshatriya and told him like this. Manmana bhava, mad bhakto, mad yadi, maam namaskuru, maame vaishyasi satyam te pratijane priyosime. Oh Arjuna, keep your mind on me, become my devotee, serve me, salute me. If you do like this, you will certainly obtain me because you are very much dear to me. Manmana bhava means Keep the mind on me, that is on God, divine power. Madhaktaha bhava means have intense devotion on me, that is on God, ananya bhakti. Madhyaji bhava, that is worship me, that is worship God. Maam namaskuru, salute me means salute God, param, Paramatman. Salute, uh, that is to salute one to do namaskara. One has to abandon his ego, accept the greatness of God and Alpatva of himself. So he said like this, Ananyas chintayantomam yejana paryupasate tesham nityapi yuktanam yoga kshemam vaham yakam. Without any other thought, whoever worship me or serve me, I will certainly take care of their yoga and kshema. Yoga is to get what is intended to obtain, what is needed to be obtained. And Kshema is safeguarding what had already come to them. So Lord Sri Krishna is the protector of our yoga and Kshema also. If we take refuge in him with full confidence and with Trikarana Suthi, purity of thought, word and deed, we have to take Charanagati. Sri Krishna said to Arjuna, I am saying all this to you with promise because you are very much dear to me. After explaining in detail and advising him properly, Sri Krishna said one sloka which can be called as the complete essence of the whole Srimad Bhagavad Gita. That is, that sloka can be called as the Bhagavad Gita Sara Sloka. The sloka which contains the sara essence of gist of the whole Gita teachings. This is the final verdict of Paramatma. Paramatma Shasana Vidhi. Sarva Dharman Parityadya Maamekam Saranam Vraja. Aham Tva Sarva Pape Pyo Moksha Ishyami. Ma Suchaka. You leave all your karmas, all other upayas means and take refuge in me, I will certainly relieve you from all the sins and all obstacles. Do not worry. Don't get worried. In this Charama Sloka or Gita Sara Sloka, Bhagavan Sri Krishna is asking Arjuna, that is, he is asking Arjuna means he is asking all of us, the entire mankind, all human beings have to take shelter in God. Take shelter in Paramatma, in him, Saranagati. What is Saranagati? It is said like this. Anukulasya sankalpaha pratikulasya varjanam rakshishyati iti vishwaso gotrutve varanam tatha atma nikshepa karpanyo shadvitha saranagati. Saranagati is of six types. These six qualities comprise Saranagati. Our Ishta Devata, our Paramatman is all-powerful, 
full of compassion. He is always favorable to us. He will always protect us. He keeps our secrets well protected. With full confidence, we have to believe that whatever occurs in our life occurs with the sankalpa of God. So certainly that is for our welfare only, even though we feel that that is bad to us at that time. With such thoughts, one should always take positive thinking. One should always have positive thinking and leave negative feelings. God will certainly protect us. God never take, likes ego or boasting, self-boasting. God likes Dinatva. So we should approach God with Dinatva. Arjuna took resort in Sri Krishna with all these six qualities. So Sri Krishna Paramatma advised such a big Upadesha to him, which is beneficial to all types of people and gave this method of Saranagati to Arjuna because he requested Sri Krishna, Sadhi Mam Twam Prepannam. In this Charama Sloka, in the first Pada, what a devotee or a disciple should do is explained. In second Pada, second line, what God will do is explained. The means of obtaining the highest goal of human life is spoken uh, here in this Sloka. The means, the upaya, means means the upaya, how to do that. Uh, even that upaya is that which leads towards the highest goal of our life, the charama gamya, that is God himself. Among the sahasra namas of Paramatma, upaya is also given as a name, as one of the names of God. So leaving all dharmas just catch hold of me, who am the Parama Upaya? I myself am Upaya, the plan as to how to reach Godhood. So that is what Paramatma said here. So when you catch hold of me, the Parama Upaya, then you will obtain me. Uh, this is what is spoken here in this Charama Sloka. Sarva Dharman Parityajya. The word Dharman means all dharmas. It, 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 this is in accusative case and vitiya vipakti, uh, plural form. Dharman itself is plural, many dharmas. Bahuvachana. Even then, the word sarva, all is added to it. Why that we should know? Sarva dharman means all types of dharmas. Because a person has to do multiple dharmas. Varnasrama dharmas, vayaktika dharmas, individual dharmas, bandhu dharmas, such as uh, uh, dharmas, such as as a mother, as, the, as a father, as the son, daughter, wife, husband, relative, officer, neighbor, as a citizen of country, etc. Thousands of dharmas are there. That is our duties are there. So moreover, each person has pancha runas, five debts to be paid. One should become free from them. Pancharuna, Vimukta, he should be, everyone should become. Everyone got five, uh, many more dharmas relating to family, society, race, caste, uh, language, nation, religion, resin, everything uh, belonging to all living beings, uh, that is fellow living beings and fellow human beings, because Unless, uh, until and unless their cooperation is there, one cannot live. So we are indebted to all of them, leaving all, and so we got dharmas, our dharmas towards all of them. So leaving all these dharmas, if one completely takes shelter in God, makes sharanagati, follows the instructions of God and acts accordingly, then God will take care of him as Dharma means that which bears and that which is born. Dharati iti dharmaha. Dhriyate dharayate iti dharmaha. That by which everything is born is dharma. The word dharma is formed from the root through dhara to bear. Yesterday we spoke about it. Veda commands dharman chara. Satyam vada dharmam chara. Practice dharma. We must do our dharma, our duty. Dharma Rakshati Rakshitaha. If we follow and practice and protect the dharma, that dharma will protect us. That dharma protects us, takes care of us. 
there are ordinary dharmas bhautika dharmas there are adhyatmika dharmas uh, there is atma dharma yesterday we spoke of it for each and every individual his own her own atma dharma is there as jiva because we are all jivas everyone should follow his or her own dharma otherwise they become sinners they get papa by punya and papa the chain of birth and death occurs again and again but while following and practicing atma dharma all other bhautika dharmas can be abandoned by that one will not get sin at present arjuna is kshatriya his utmost important duty is chatra dharma that is to fight in the battlefield which is very much important to, to him as his duty so bhagwan sri krishna asked arjuna to do his duty of chatra dharma of fighting against adharma now what kurukshetra with the kauravas also sri krishna advised arjuna to take refuge in him bhagavan the god if one does all his duties righteously without bhagavad bhavana for him there are many kartavyas duties if not acted he will get sin but one who makes sharanagati to god takes refuge in him considers everything to be god for such a person no other physical duties are there in shrimad bhagavata it is said like this devarshi putapta nrunam pitrunam na kinkaru nayam runicha rajan sarvatmana ya sharanam charanyam gato mukundam parihrutya kartam one who does not surrender to bhagavan for him there are pancha runas and he has to clear them but one who completely surrenders himself to god he will completely relieve of all these runas and ties in shrimad bhagavata sri krishna parmatma said agnyayaivam gunan doshan maya dishtan api svakan dharman samchedya yah sarvan mam padeta sa sattamaha bhagavan said i gave a number of upadeshas in vedas spoke about merits and defects of all laukika dharmas and karmas those who fully engage in my service do abandon all those dharmas and karmas become best sadhakas achievers a practitioner uh, in spiritual life is called as sadhaka gopikas are of such ananya bhaktas to sri krishna do they do all the worldly deeds every minute every moment every second their minds hearts and thoughts are filled with sri krishna smarana they are fully aware of the fact that sri krishna is para brahman yet they are playing with sri krishna as if he is a small child for them sri krishna is their mother father teacher guru husband friend and gati aim to be obtained and everything what not in shrimad ramayana lakshman swami abandoned all other dharmas and kept serving sri rama as his sole dharma and went to the forest along with him even prakhlada five years old boy could perceive lord sri hari everywhere at all times he got samadar sitva spoken by sri krishna in bhagavad gita prakhlada used to see and experience the presence of vishnu while eating drinking speaking playing sleeping moving uh, while doing any work he felt the presence of god sri hari lord sri krishna lord sri sriman narayana and forgot this world merging in the thought of paramatma vishnu bhagavan sri krishna said sarva dharman parityajya parityajya means having abandoned it is lyabanta lyap is a uh, krutu pratyaya lyabanta word of root tyaja with the prefix pari parityajya it is asamapaka kriya pada asamapaka means there the uh, meaning is com- not the sentence is not completed full idea is not given so that is asamapaka kriya so that uh, uh, aspects for another verb to complete the vakya so uh, he did not say parityaja parityaja means abandon 
parichedya means having abandoned that is he has to do after abandoning something should be done what is to be done sarva dharman all the duties parichedya abandoning mam ekam sharanam vraja this is the final sentence and final verb which completes the sentence this is the main sentence take refuge in me parichedya means paritaha tyaja paritaha means around on all sides tyaja means abandon tyaja means having abandoned on all sides means all dharmas to this verbal form of prut pratyaya lyap is added by which the verb becomes asamapaka kriya so the sentence is not complete here there is some more idea to complete this sentence does this lyabanta verb sri krishna explained arjuna to do uh, two works two duties first one is to abandon all the duties sarva dharman parityajya then second work is to take shelter in him maam ekam sharanam vraja does in this bhagavad gita sara sloka in the first line paramatma told all of us what we have to do that is we should take shelter in him abandoning all dharmas leaving all dharmas keeping all dharmas aside we have to completely leave all dharmas then take shelter in paramatma in the second line paramatma said what he will do aham tva sarva pape pyo moksha ishyami ma suchaka i will relieve you from all the sins and distresses of this world so don't get distressed now papa and punya merit and sin come to us according to the works we do as the result of our deeds we take birth of birth after birth one after another several births we have to take till the merit or demerit completely extinguish nothing should be left over we get attached to the objects and people jhayato vishayan punsan sangaste shupa jayate sanga sanjayate kamah kama krotho bhi jayate krotha bhavati sammohah sammoha smriti bhemshah smriti bhemsha buddhi nasho buddhi nashad vinashyati this is how the destruction takes place to each and every one in this world on account of attachment sangha continuous thinking of persons or objects develops attachment if we think of any object or any person we develop a sort of rapport and love and affection and longing for them uh, a sort of prema bhavana that we cannot live without that object or that person that feeling arises so that is called as attachment attachment creates desire if we acquire that desire another desire comes uh, so there is no end to these desires at all if we cannot obtain that desire we get anger uh, due to anger people become infatuated thereby they lose their viveka discriminative power thereby mind gets um, perverted and decays thereby he gets distracted he will be completely ruined because one should become uh, that is why therefore one should become mukta sangha we should not have such uh, thick attachment towards anything in this world mukta means leaving sangha means attachment one should develop detachment non attachment towards laukika things by developing nitya nitya vastu viveka janma parampara occurs due to vasanas all these are due to avidya so we have to eradicate this avidya by developing viveka we should leave dehatma bhavana first with efforts dehatma bhavana is the feeling of this body is i as long as dehatma pranti is there we do all our duties and get their effects and there by punya and papa but if we take refuge in paramatma bhagavan will take care of us and whatever we do we do to please god paramatma para brahman only and with the will of god for the sake of god we do all the works we are neither kartas nor bhoktas 
we will not get any fruits of any actions because we are not doing we are not enjoying this is the teaching of shrimad bhagavad gita shri krishna paramatma started his bodha his teaching to arjuna with the shloka ashocha nanva sochastvam and completed with the shloka sarva dharman parityajya etc this is the wonderful essence of the teaching of teachings of, of shrimad bhagavad gita more than thousands of personality development lectures are there in this bhagavad gita this great grantha nowadays people are paying thousands of rupees and attending personality development lectures going uh, to such far of distances instead of that if people study our scriptures like shrimad ramayana mahabharata and bhagavad gita and understand the teachings they are containing Uh, we can they can become ideal to lakhs of people this is this one text shrimad bhagavad gita is containing hundreds of upadeshas needed for mankind uh, starting from childhood that is children to the aged grown people at whatever situation whatever problem comes solution is there in bhagavad gita so thus it gives solutions to all types of problems of all the times to all the people it is like a ready reckoner of knowledge to all of us whatever god says we have to do because shri krishna asked arjuna to fight arjuna became ready to do the war in fact we may doubt why shri krishna did not tell this final verdict uh, sara shloka final bodha in the very beginning itself of gita itself when arjuna requested him to tell upaya then shri krishna is lord vishnu himself who has come down here as shiksha guru <clears throat> he is shiksha guru one of the purposes of his avatara is to teach gnana to entire mankind arjuna and entire mankind should get full confidence that shri krishna is not just a human being he is not at all a human being in fact he is sakshat paramatma sakshat shri man narayana sakshat god all powerful reality transcendental and immanent power so people should have devotion for him koti janmarjita hi punya hi bhave bhakti hi prajayate dese those who are like prahlada and gopikas are great devotees they can cross and reach the goal of life with their devotion and gnana but for all human beings who are just ordinary persons it is not possible so sri krishna explained different methods of reaching divinity by explaining different paths when arjuna's gnana is confirmed then he showed his vibhutis showed past present and future in him only the doer deed and drashta the triputi all three are he alone human beings are just instruments in the hands of in the hand of uh, paramatma to discharge their duties thus slowly paramatma sri krishna took arjuna step by step to higher levels first sri krishna asked arjuna to leave his duties leave his distress and agony first in the uh, arjuna vishada yoga at second uh, uh, chapter then that is uh, sri krishna asked arjuna to first leave his agony distress and then asked him to do his duty as a kshatriya to do dharma yuddha later paramatma advised arjuna to do karma kartavya karmas with anasakti without any interest for the fruits of the actions without any sort of attachment nishkama karma and karma yoga and said yoga ha karma su kausalam and finally ordered arjuna to completely surrender to him and assured him that he will take care of him by all means in all aspects to leave all dharmas does not mean to remain without doing any work but to leave kartrutva and bhoktrutva that is karma phala tyaga should be left the entire responsibility of the protection of the devotee is of paramatma only 
So completely surrendering everything to God, one should do what God commands us to do. No one can be without doing any work even for one moment. Nahi kasti chenamapi jatu tishta tyakarma kruti. Karyati hyavasya karma. Sarvaha prakriti jair gunaihi. The nature prakriti is made up of sattva rajas samu gunas. Being instigated by trigunas, everyone acts. Anishtam ishtam misram cha trivitham karmana palam. The result of actions will be threefold. Ishta desire, anishta unwanted and misra mixed one. So by doing Shubha karmas, one acquires Punya, merit, and thereby obtains Swarga, etc., Divya, Lokas, and enjoyments. By doing Asubha or Papa karmas, one gets sin and thereby Naraka Loka and suffers a lot and takes the birth of Krimikitakas, etc. By doing Misrama karmas, Papa and Punya, um, one takes the birth of Human beings, all karmas are dukkha samisritas, mixed with sorrow. There is no work here on earth which does not give sorrow except nishkama karma. Isavas Yopanishad says, Kurvanne veha karmani jiji vishet sarada shetam shetagam samaha. Uh, we should live here for 100 years while doing karmas here. So even Bhagavad Gita says, Yajna dana tapa karma na tyajyam karya Sri Even Ramana Maharshi said, Iswarar pitam nechaya kritam. One should do the works giving the fruits of actions to Iswara. Yogina karma kurvanti sangan tyatva atma suddhaye. Says Bhagavad Gita. Even sages do actions, even uh, Nishkama karma, yogis do actions. Even Jeevan Muktas like Janaka Maharshi, uh, Ramana Maharshi, etc. People also do Kartavya karmas. Why? Because for purification of self, Atma Suddhi. Sri Krishna spoke about Tamasa, Rajasa, Sattvika karmas and asked us to do Sattvika karmas. Niyatam Sangarajitam Araga Dveshata Kritam Aphala prepsuna karma yatat sattvika mutyate. The work which is done without raga and vesha and without attachment, without the desire of fruit is sattvika karma. One should do such sattvika karmas. Uttare dhatman atmanam natmanam avasadayet. Atmeva hyatmano vantur atmaiva ripur atmanaka. One should uplift himself from the ocean of worldly ties. One should not allow the self to get decayed. One's own self is the relative and also enemy to himself. One should always, uh, one should always try to elevate himself from lower levels to higher level, divinity. Till he becomes one with uh, divine, he has to uh, get elevated. It is said, Manayeva Manushyanam Karanam Bantha Mokshayo. Mind and buddhi uh, is the cause of everything, so that uh, that mind should be offered to Paramatma, offered to God and surrender himself to God and should do according to the will and wish of God without any attachments. After completely listening to the teachings of Sri Krishna Paramatma, Arjuna's ignorance, infatuation, etc. have completely got removed fully and he became cool, calm and pleasant and happy. With full confidence, he spoke to Sri Krishna, Nasto Mohaha Smrutir Labdha Vat Prasadan Mayatyuta Stitotmi Stitosmi Gata Sandehaha Tarishye Vachanam Tava He Paramatma, by your grace, my infatuation has completely gone. I got back my intelligence. All my doubts have been cleared. Now I will do whatever you say. Sri Krishna asked him to <coughs> fight and Arjuna became ready to fight in Kurukshetra war. He fought and won victory. He got victory. Sri Krishna is addressed in this verse as Achyuta, indestructible. One who does not have Chyuti, Chyuti, is to fall down. 
just as by uh, lightening the lamp the darkness vanishes similarly by the teachings of sri krishna paramatma arjuna's ignorance vanished he understood the divinity got real knowledge his devotion doubled with full confidence he said i will do whatever you command me he participated in kurukshetra war as an instrument in the hands of paramatma got victory and got the name vijaya then he became vijaya entire mankind should understand the essence of the teachings of sri krishna paramatma given through shrimad bhagavad gita develop suddha sattva guna leaving kartrutva and bhoktrutva do the duties and act according to the command of god we have to do the works with the feeling yadya karma karomi tatad akhilam shempo tavarathanam we should gain the highest knowledge the knowledge of ultimate reality brahma gnana we should do the works with the confidence that god is doing and making us to do them paramatma said ananya chintayanto mam ye jana paryupasate tesham nityapi yuktanam yoga kshemam vaham yaham some elders say that in fact the essence of the teachings of shrimad bhagavad gita is there in the very first half of the first line of first shloka of shrimad bhagavad gita dharma kshetre kuru kshetre dharma kshetre kuru kshetre samaveta yuyutsavah mamaka pandavasteva kimma kurvata sanjaya is the first poem kshetre kshetre dharmam kuru dharma kshetre kuru kshetre that is do your duty in all places wherever you go you do your duty whatever you do you do dharma dharmo rakshati rakshitah thrutarashtra even after reaching almost at the fag end of his life still could not conquer moha and aham and mama he enquired sanjaya what is happening at kurukshetra war by saying mamakaha pandavascha eva pandavascha eva kima kurvata sanjaya mamakaha means mine belonging to me my sons this aham and mama binds jeeva one who abandons aham mama follows the words of paramatma leads dharmika life attains liberation mukti one should develop the capacity to see the imperishable paramatman among all perishable things of the universe the world paramatman exists in each and every atom of the world universe he exists in all chara chara putas as antaryamin one who sees this imperishable brahman in the universe is the real drashta samam sarveshu putishu tishtantam parameswaram vinasyatsu avinasyantam yak pasyati sa pasyati he is the real seer we say he is really seeing who sees all persons all things everything as equal paramatma said iswara sarva putanam hrudesi arjuna tishtati paramatma dwells in the hearts of all living beings isa vasyam idam sarvam vise this entire universe is spread by iswara so upanishad says like this this atma cannot be obtained by either teachings or intellect to intelligence or by the great uh, shastra jnana also uh, par, uh, atma cannot be obtained that is what mundakopanishad says naya matma pravachanena lapyo na methaya na bakuna srutena yame vaisha vrunite tena lapyah tasye shatma vivrunute tanun swam so bhagavad gita is a perfect grantha of knowledge about jiva jagat ishvara prakriti trigunas jnana bhakti karma chana upasana nirguna saguna nirguna upasana uh, and varnasrama dharmas and hundreds of thousands of personality development lectures so uh, we can utilize such divine teachings of shrimad bhagavad gita and the whole mankind should get benefited so Uh, here we can stop because uh, question answer session you said but uh, in, in coming next two sessions first chapter to ninth chapter and 10th uh, chapter to 18th chapter so only just i want to give even that is very, that would be very difficult to give in one hour or one and a half hour so that may take a little more time also
so actually i wanted to take the gist of at least first chapter if possible second chapter also today but because you are asking all of you are asking for question answer session and because you are having exam uh, now i want to stop here swasti dhanyavadam nandi ఆపమన్నారు ఎగ్జామ్ ఉంది క్వశ్చన్ ఆన్సర్ అని ఆపలేకపోతే ఇవాళ యాక్చువల్లీ ఫస్ట్ సెకండ్ చాప్టర్స్ జస్ట్ చెప్తే లీజర్ గా ఇలా ఇవాళ చెప్పినట్టుగా అదర్ టూ డేస్ లో కూడా మనం చెప్పుకోవచ్చు ఓపికుండాలే కానీ Okay, uh, anyway, what we do now is we will take up some questions which are in the chat box. Um, Babu, yeah. yeah. Uh, the first question is, if Bhagavad Gita is one and part of 1008 Upanishads, why it is shown separately in Prasthana Treya? along with upanishad and brahma sutras we show you i am in street and far side me why is there a break out on the vishalakshi gar kada kostundandi ah ipudu bagane avaru kad అక్కడ ఉండగా ఇక్కడ సపరేట్ గా పెట్టడం కాదు ప్రస్థాన త్రయ మీన్స్ ద త్రీ విచ్ లీడర్స్ టువర్డ్స్ ఎటర్నిటీ అందుకని దాన్ని ప్రస్థాన త్రయము అన్నారు ఉపనిషత్స్ బ్రహ్మసూత్రాలు భగవద్గీత these three are called as prasthana traya traya means three and prasthana is pra means prakrushta great and pra also means progress walking forward sta tishta to stand tishtati we say prasthana is moving forward so these three are considered as the most important great paths that lead us towards divinity and mukti liberation mana mukti pondadaniki payaninche margallo marga ee moodu kuda margalu aa margallo payaninchinatlayite mana mukti pondutamu kanuka veetini prasthana trayamu ani annaru upanishatula saram indila undi kaani upanishatulu chaala great adi unimaginable knowledge is given అక్కడ ఉపనిషత్తుల్లో సో బ్రహ్మసూత్రాలు కంప్లీట్ ఆ ఉపనిషత్తుల సారమంతా బ్రహ్మసూత్రాలలో సూత్రముల రూపంలో ఇచ్చారు ఎప్పుడు కూడా పెద్ద పెద్ద వాక్యాల కంటే సూత్రాలు కంఠస్థం చేయడం గుర్తు పెట్టుకోవడం సులభం కానీ ఆ సూత్రాలకి భాష్యాలు ఉంటాయి భాష్యాలను మనం అర్థం చేసుకోవాలి వార్తికాలు ఉంటాయి వివరణలు ఉంటాయి సో ఆ సూత్రం చూడగానే మనకి దాని వివరణ వార్తికము ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ మొత్తం మనసులో స్ఫురించాలి రావాలి వ్యాకరణంలో గానీ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ లో కూడా సూత్రాలు చెప్తూ ఉంటారుగా సిన్స్ చైల్డ్హుడ్ స్కూల్ లెవెల్ నుంచి చెప్తారు సో అలా బ్రహ్మ సూత్రాలు అంటే బ్రహ్మమును పొందటానికి సూత్రాలని చెప్పారు శంకర భగవత్పాదులు సో ఆ గ్రంథము అర్థం చేసుకున్నా ముక్తి పొందుతాము ఉపనిషత్తులు చదివి అర్థం చేసుకుని గురువుల వల్ల ఉపదేశం పొంది అర్థం చేసుకున్నా ముక్తి పొందుతాము భగవద్గీత ఉపదేశం పొంది అర్థం చేసుకుని సారం గ్రహించినా ముక్తి పొందుతాము కనుక ది స్త్రీ ఆర్ కాల్డ్ యాస్ ప్రస్థాన త్రయ కెన్ యూ ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ దిస్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ వన్స్ అగైన్ అదే సమ్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఈస్ యు నో గాన్ ఇన్ తెలుగు సో ఐ జస్ట్ థాట్ తెలుగు తెలియని వాళ్ళు ఎవరైనా మన దాంట్లో ఉన్నారా ఆర్ దేర్ ఎనీ పీపుల్ హూ డు నాట్ నో తెలుగు మెనీ కెన్ ఐ ఇంటర్ఫియర్ okay yeah yes. this is uh, this is what she conveyed to who is that these three are meant for getting moksha prasthana trayam prasthana trayam prasthanam to go to vaikuntham or sorry to go to moksha sakshat for joining with parmatma 
that is the philosophy given here the essence of all upanishads have been merged into the bhagavad gita in common man to understand in various ways the present conditions of the mahabharata there that's what is bhagavad gita all the three tell the same thing same essence of upanishads and all the three also say convey the whole vedas saram but the ultimate aim of these three is for attaining moksha that's why it's named as prasthana trayam they don't talk about other karma kandas and other things they talk about only the the philosophy of a person to attain moksha what are the qualities he should acquire and what type of personality he should develop to attain moksha and what is moksha and what is gnana to tell that these three things have been separately written upanishads given by parmatma himself brahma sutra was given by vyasa maharishi and then the bhagavad gita is also given by written by vyasa maharishi but they actually told by bhagavad uh, parmatma and vyasa maharishi was actually listening that what parmatma is telling he is he is a uh, person who can see hear from any place that type of knowledge vyasa mahan has got so vyasa bhagavan arjuna krishna and sanjaya simultaneously hearing the bhagavad gita and arma and the top of the uh, chariot so okay. these things okay. are meant for moksha okay next yeah, question yeah. next question right the next question is uh, sarva dharman parichidya mam ekam sharanam gaja aham tvam sarva papebhyo moka haishyami mam shacha this is what the abraham yeah i think there is english uh, i think uh, the question is this is what the abrahamic religion base all their arguments now just a minute just a minute okay uh, no, the question is this is what the abrahamic uh, religion base all their arguments on uh and so become uh, so becomes you questionable that is hindus are questioned on this with this question how do you counter this i do understand we have many verses teaching us to think and do manana but they took one sentence and made made it there all with punishment clauses i mean it's a very complicated question not dilana yes see yeah the question is over let me nakala this question is who is asking this who is asking this babu garu you decide maatkonde naale naadidde nara madhuve hodre anta who is asking is this please guru ji my question guru ji saugandi here yeah. so i answered this question to you Yes, Guruji, I saw the answer. I saw yeah. that. Is, are you satisfied with the answer? Okay. Are you satisfied with the answer? Are we got in doubt? Saugandhi ji. Uh, um, no, I ask because when we uh, talk to the children in government schools, they tell us uh, yeah, why I should understand. it be when the children ask us. It. if you understand how do i Bhagavad explain Gita to them completely i understand your your problem i understand your problem you are, we want to prepare the people for that purpose only what you are asking but for that first thing is not that going to the ultimate one first understand the bhagavad gita totally first understand the sanatan dharma totally then come up to that level in the initial stage itself asking that question will create lot of problems and lot of okay. misunderstandings on the subject Okay. Thank you, thank you, sir. धन्यवाद करिए. Okay. I think now, uh, if any questions are there, we will take up later in the next session. Uh, please reserve your questions, and uh, if at all they are urgent, then no. Uh, probably we may take up separately. One more clarification I want to give you. One more clarification I want to give to all the people. One Mr. P. S. R. P. S. Murthy also has given some questions in similar way. For which I already replied. i would like to convey to all the members of this group is this platform is not for discussions of inter religion faiths please yes. understand that 
This platform is to know our Sanatan Dharma and know our what is there in our uh, these things first. Then the question comes other things. First, yeah. that comes in the fourth level or fifth level of our course, not now. So this is a fundamental level course, level one course. Please understand the Sanatan Dharma properly first. Then we can discuss the higher other religions question. Don't bring those other religions things here. I'm sorry to say this. We cannot, we don't, we, though we can answer, we don't want to answer this. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well brought out that it is a, a sort of research questions. You don't ask now. You go for basics. Once you know what you are, then you can always ask for others also. Okay. Now, what we do is that we will go for exam. Thank you, madam. Uh, thank you, Mahade, for you know giving a elaborate, uh, detailed, and you have made a lot of notes and uh, well prepared. Uh, of course, and also you are extempore in giving answers also. So, what we do is that we will go for exam now. And, uh, and, and uh, we'll close this session at present. Then, Namaste. 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 Okay, now, uh, shall we switch over to exam mode? I think I have uh, unmuted everybody. Uh, no, yeah, I have unmuted everybody. Anybody wants to speak, you can speak. Shall I leave that? Uh, yeah, uh, we will uh, no, have Janakana Mana and... Uh, Sir, can you... Uh, now, Saugandhi here. Uh, unless we have Janakana Mana and Pradhan. Mahadeya, can you share the link so that we can open it a little later after drop of the children at school? And just um, after the Janagana Mana, I will leave. I have, can no, no, share no, no. the link. No, Janagana Mana will be after the exam. You know okay. the link, whatever you want. Okay. Okay. Danyavada, Guruji. So the exam started. The link is given in the chat box. Vishal Ashmingar, if you have urgent job, you can go, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Miku. Prepakar Gariki Buddha Chala. Thanks. Thanks, Andy. All of you got it? Anybody who is still struggling to get yeah. that? I did, I did not get it. So you sent it in the same in chat? The chat box. Chat box. I put it. Okay. Please see the chat box. The link is already placed there. I think now I'll stop the recording. Recording the chat box. Yeah, and in the class, like.